It's one of Netflix's hottest shows that constantly leaves us on the edge of our seat. Earlier, we chatted with Virgin River star Alexandra Breckenridge. Take a look. Please welcome to the show Alexandra Breckenridge. Yes. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's jump right in, Alexandra. You play a nurse on Virgin River, and you also played one on This Is Us. So I got to ask you two questions. One, did you ever use in real life, I'm not a nurse, <laughs> but I play one on TV? And two, did you ever really want to get into medicine? Um, absolutely, I've said that line. Um, <laughs> <laughs> When I'm giving uh, medical advice that I have no business giving, I'm like, well, I play a nurse on television. So. <laughs> yeah. um, and no, I would, no, I, I'm a little too squeamish, I think, for real medicine. Um, I, I think I would have a hard time if anyone was, was, you know, in pain in front of me. It would be very difficult for me. <laughs> me too. I'm, I'm with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're all in alignment. Yes. Uh, I have to bring this up because I think, uh, you know, very important for a lot of people who watch your show. One of the storylines in Virgin River is Mel's struggle with infertility. That's not something mm -hmm. that we see a lot on TV. How have been the fans uh, been responding? The people that I have interacted with seem to be, um, you know, affected by the storyline. Um, Certainly the people that I have known that have struggled with infertility um, really love the fact that we are showing that side on television where so often uh, writers choose to go the avenue of the miracle baby and yep. we decided to, you know, tell a real story about a woman that doesn't, you know, she, she doesn't end up with her miracle baby. And I know that a lot of fans were... Uh, <laughs> struggling with that but I think that we were trying to tell a more realistic yes. storyline in that than we have and I think uh, a lot of your fans I think a lot of your fans felt yeah, seen. I, I think people gravitate towards yeah. that. Just the reality, it really pulls you in as a viewer. So, I, you know, I have to tell you, obviously a big part of Virgin Ridge River is the location. You're often out in the woods, and this is where you need to help me. Because <laughs> yeah, he doesn't uh, do well in the woods. I'm not an outdoors person <laughs> at all. I don't get it. I like this air conditioning. See all these lights, soft chair, <laughs> wonderful. So I have to ask yes. you, were you an outdoorsy person before this series? Um, actually, you know, my dad used to take me and my brothers camping when I was little. I grew up living with my mother, but my father grew up camping with his mother. And so we would always take an RV out, um, you know, weekends in the summer and whatnot. And so, yes, I spent a lot of time in uh, Daria in Connecticut in my, you know, in the backyard in the woods. Um, uh, I love the outdoors. I don't want to sleep in a tent outside by any means. <laughs> I would rather go glamping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a happy medium. I could get nature. down with the glamping. I'm trying as long to get as out. like a little hot spot Wi-Fi. Okay. I need yeah. constant heat. Constant. Yeah. That's not glamping. Okay. That's no. a hotel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Now your on-screen loves are incredibly good-looking. I mean, really. We got Jack on Virgin River. Oh yeah. The Kevin on This Is Us. Huh? What does your husband Casey think of these matchups? And does Casey ever get a little gel gel, a little jealous? <laughs> um, actually, luckily he doesn't. If he does get jealous, he's definitely not showing it. Good for um, you know, we've I've made it very clear that my job is it's a it's a job. Right. I mean, I am experiencing um emotional aspects of my character as I play her, but when I you know, when I leave that world, I leave that world. It's not me right. necessarily. Right. So, you know, I think he gets it. He, I, I think he probably prefers that I'm matched with uh, attractive men. Good for him. Ooh, I like that. Of <laughs> the, the last look was kind of like, oh, I hope so. <laughs> I'm going with that. Yeah, I, don't know. I like it. It's good. That like was a good it. answer. Good one. All right, real quickly, season five, part two of Virgin River is a holiday special. So we have to ask you, what holiday traditions do you and your family have? Uh, well, so we always do the Christmas tree with the family. But this year, because my kids, I have so many Christmas ornaments that they just throw everything mm -hmm. on there sort of haphazardly. Yep. And um, so I've got them their own Christmas oh, tree. Smart. In the oh. playroom. 
And now mommy gets to have her own Christmas tree. <laughs> the grown no, That is a Sanders. great idea. That's brilliant yeah. because they really decorate like one area. Yeah. It frustrates me. Well, it's me. the area they can reach. So. Yeah. No, but it's all clumped together. And I, mean, I have to it's like on the sneakily, bottom. yeah, like rehide them yes. all and distribute. So give I might, them a tree. I might a give them a tree. That's, That's a really good idea. Uh, what a pleasure having you, DBL Nation. You can check out season five, part two of Virgin River on Netflix now. Alexandra, congratulations on all your success. Success. Clearly well-deserved.